Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I don't remember why I did not use this chair before. It's a little squeaky. It has been quite a while since I have come back on this channel and filmed something for you guys. I actually do have some pre-filmed videos, but I have not yet edited them. So those may be coming your way soon. But I had gotten my BoxyCharm today, so I thought, why not share that with you guys first? A lot has happened since the last time I posted. Um, we were in the middle of a move, then this whole quarantine stuff happening. It's just, it's been crazy. I hope you guys are doing well. Oh, and let me know what you guys have been doing in the comments down below during this whole quarantine period to keep yourselves busy. Have you picked up any new hobbies? Learned something new? Let me know down below. I have perfected my favorite hobbies, which are sleeping and eating. I'm pretty much a pro. Anyways, let's jump right into our BoxyCharm unboxing. So this is the box for this month. So I guess this month's theme is festival vibes. I guess it was for Coachella. Was Coachella supposed to be this month? And it was weird because in this month's box, I actually got two of these. Whereas in last month's box, I didn't get one at all. So... Maybe they're making up for it. Anyways, the first item in the box is the Porefessional Hydrating Primer by Benefit. And I actually love the original primer from Benefit. The Porefessional, I guess it's just their original. I think it's called original. I don't know. But I actually love that one. But this one was a little weird. I was actually really excited about this one because it said hydrating and I have super dry skin. So I was pretty bummed out when it didn't really work out for me. It still blurred out my pores and it still has like a really nice smell and everything. But when I started to blend it out with my fingers, um, hopefully you can see in the clip that I'm about to show you, but you can see the primer start to roll up, which I was not expecting. Um, because the original primer is amazing. It doesn't give me any problems. It blurs my pores and it's just... It's perfect, but this one just kept rolling up and I I don't know what was up with that I don't know if it was because of my moisturizer, but I always moisturize my skin before I do any makeup, so That's not gonna be helpful to me. I did manage to get this to work for me by using a dense brush and I stippled on the primer instead of sweeping it so that it didn't really have a chance to roll up on me so that happened to work, but I'll have to give this another try to see if it was just my moisturizer, this particular moisturizer or what. A little bummed about this, not gonna lie, but the dense brush did help and it did um, blur out my pores, but I still, if I were to choose between the original and this one, it would definitely be the original. The next item that I decided to try out was by Iconic London and it is their Illuminator and it's in the shade Original. This one was very intense. <laughs> I guess I added a little too much in my foundation, but <laughs> it did give a nice glow as you can see. I added it into my foundation and then later on I applied it just by itself on the high points of my face. As with all highlighters, I would be careful of using too much, especially if you have textured skin like me. It will definitely show all of the texture on your face, which is not the most flattering, but uh, the glow that it gives is really nice. I don't typically use liquid highlights on my face, but I do use them all over my body, uh, especially when you're wearing like shorts or skirt or something and during the summertime it gives your skin that really nice glowy dewy sweaty but glittery look you know not that anyone will be doing that anytime soon since you know can't really go out that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get in especially if you're at the beach and the sun is just shining on you and you're getting that nice tan and then you're just glistening in the sun. <sighs> I miss the outdoors. <laughs> okay, on to the next item. The next item is by Zoeva and it is their Caramel Melange eyeshadow. I probably totally mispronounced that, but that's what it's called. It is so pretty. It doesn't come with a mirror, which is kind of a bummer, but the shades so beautiful. I love these kind of shades. I'm just 
automatically drawn to these kind of shades. So I used these three in the crease and then I went in with these two which are super, super pretty. This one, by the way, when I dug my brush into it, as you can see, it is like, I don't know, it's so soft and so metallic. This right in the center of the lid, so that when the eye catches it, it's very, very pretty. And I put this um, in the outer corner. This one was for my brow shade. These blended out so well. The metallic shades are super metallic and rich and creamy. Um, this shade let's see it's called edible gem and it's supposed to be like a very dark plum color however when you blend it out into these colors it definitely shows up more of a like a brown shade which you know is not bad because it totally goes with this eyeshadow look i didn't have to use any kind of setting spray or anything to make the eyeshadow stand out uh, i just used concealer as a primer under my eyeshadow and that was it. So I highly, highly recommend. Next we have this satin lipstick from Dose of Colors and it's in the shade Glazed. Um, it is cruelty free, talc free, paraben free, and vegan. So that's awesome. This lipstick was definitely too light for me on its own, but with a dark nude lip liner underneath, I was able to make it work. I also felt like that combination was too cool tone for my eye look. So a trick that I use when my lipstick doesn't seem to quite match my eye look, I will go in with the eyeshadows that I used. And typically it'll be like the crease color that I use because that usually sets the tone of the eyeshadow. And so for my lips, I just patted on the sides um, alchemy and start soft these two crease shades so that was able to kind of bring the lip down into a more warmer tone that is a trick that i often use i just use a brush and just lightly patted it onto my lipstick and it's a great way to create matte lips uh, if you want glossy lips but the same color just add a clear gloss on top but yes just a little trick that I often use. Overall, this wasn't the best lipstick that I've tried. Probably because it was just so light for me. You could see each crack on my lip, which was just not flattering at all. But it is great to use in conjunction with a dark lip liner. Because I typically use these kind of lipsticks in the center of my lip to make my lips look more pouty. So, yes. It's not horrible, but it's not the best. And last but certainly not least are the face masks that they included. They included three of them. And these are by Tony Moly. I'm Real Sheet Mask. So there's one for illuminating, purifying, and calming. And they've actually included these in the box before. I've used the Lotus one for sure. Um, from what I can remember and it was actually really nice. I love face masks. They're so relaxing I have a little box in my vanity where I keep all of my face masks and whenever I'm feeling like I need a little spa day I whip one of these out and my whole day is instantly better And I definitely prefer sheet masks because they are far less messy than the ones that you have to squeeze out and pour all over your face It's just You just peel it off And you're done and especially with the whole quarantine thing going on, these will come in handy. All right, guys, so that's it for my BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.